Hey everyone, I hope you're well. This video is sponsored by EA. They wanted me to showcase the Flashpoint event and I thought it would be a fun time to essentially give you some tips that are based on the Flashpoint mode and also the meta changes in update 6.1. I haven't posted any tip videos in a while on this channel. If you like them, please give this one a lot of support. Watch it all the way to the end so that I know you are enjoying it. All right, so let's jump into this. We'll first start with the tips that apply to just the entire update as a whole, and then we'll go into the flashpoint tips. So first things first, the crafting rotation has changed. That means there's new items in the crafting tables each day. I don't know what their full list is yet. We do have some interesting things such as an alternator with a golden barrel and a Mozambique with a purple bolt. You may not want to craft these weapons, but the attachments are definitely worth crafting. So keep an eye on what's craftable each day. The LMG has got an interesting change this patch. Now when you fire them whilst hip firing, their spread just increases, increases and increases. It's really hard to hip fire with these weapons. It's been a habit of mine and many players to hip fire with both the Devotion and the Spitfire. But both of these weapons now with the Alstar excluded have terrible spread hip firing. So you got to stop it. You got to ADS with these things now. Otherwise you're going to run into some trouble and miss all your shots. Well, almost all of them. The Spitfire also got a buff. They wanted to keep the Spitfire and Devotion weapon profile quite similar, but they know that the Spitfire is designed to be a lower damage, less skilled variant of the Devotion, so they gave it another recall buff. This thing is a laser now. The time to kill isn't great, so you're probably going to want to pick up a weapon instead, but if you want a bit of fun or a long range laser beam of a gun, pick up the Spitfire, give it a go, stick a 3x on it, have some fun. There's a new loot prompt icon that will appear on items in a death box. This means that a player on your team can actually use that item, whether it may be a specific attachment for their weapon or some ammo or something like that. So you may as well start pinging like crazy guys. Go give your teammates some help. I'm definitely going to be doing this a lot now too. There are new Evo armor prompts as well. The lower number is better. It means there's lower damage needed to upgrade that armor so you may want to swap out for a lower damage value armor however with this new change it makes it very easy to swap a full armor for a broken one in a box so be careful and don't spam buttons to swap armor because you'll end up with your old armor too if you're the kind of person that likes armor swapping in fights be wary of this change the triple take got a nerf but it's still super powerful so if you want to snipe it's definitely still the go-to option but if for some reason you want to try another sniper from ground floor loot well you've only got the longbow and charge rifle to choose from because the sentinel isn't in the game right now I saw this coming. Thanks to a crazy rapid fire glitch, the Sentinel has become the first weapon in Apex Legends history to get vaulted. Speaking of vaults, no, vaults, yeah, Crypto can now remotely open vault doors with his drone so long as he has the key in his inventory. Pathfinder's grapple cooldown has changed quite drastically. It seems like a buff, but you are actually punished even more for good grapples. Apex Legends greatest grappler Moki explained it well on his channel, saying that the cooldown for good grapple maxes out at 42 seconds now, because the cooldown only starts when you reach sprinting speed or 7 seconds pass after your initial grapple. In the past, it would start as soon as you press the grapple button. So you'll want to practice shorter range grapples to get the most out of Pathfinder's kit now. For example, grappling vertically or over people's heads. You're going to have to go and play with it and see how it feels. Oh, and there's a new teaser for the next legend, but you have to go and complete a bunch of challenges. Here you are. Oh, listen, I've got a wee proposition for you, darling. Perhaps we ought to meet at the firing range. If you haven't got these challenges, go into the firing range and interact with the screen. Yeah, yeah, just, just press E on the screen. It's obvious, Merchant. Come on. And then check the challenges page. Once you've reached the, the challenges, these gravity lifts will become available. It looks like a teaser for one of the next legend's abilities. They can be a good way to reposition, but to make yourself less vulnerable, try to strafe left and right as you go up on these things. 
The best weapons for the gravity lift are those that have spread that's not impacted by stance, such as an EVA or an ADS triple take, Mastiff or a Mozambique. Okay, now onto Flashpoint. These tips should help you to get more Flashpoint wins and get those new LTM badges. First things first, this event isn't lasting as long as it usually does. Usually they last for three straight weeks. This one ends short on Thursday. We've got one week left, so you're gonna wanna get in some time over this weekend to try and get these badges done if you care about that kind of thing. All right, in Flashpoint, you start healing after five seconds of not taking damage, but you can still shoot at others whilst waiting through this time. So sometimes it can be smart to take peeks at enemies during the healing time. This one's a big one for anyone that hasn't noticed. There's a Phoenix kit in the crafting station, so craft as many as you can. And there's no other heals in the game mode besides this. If you haven't been crafting in this game, you've got to give it another try. It really does help you get some items that you would otherwise not have available to you. One of the best strategies I've found is to land near the final ring, then craft a phoenix, then visit nearby zones to get kills. You have players coming in from all over the map, but you won't have to step into that final ring until late game, because the final ring can get pretty chaotic at times. Sometimes it's the complete opposite and the final ring will be absolutely dead, but nearby rings will still have player activity as they're moving around and waiting for the ring to come in. The obvious choices for Flashpoint include Octane, Watson and Lifeline for their healing abilities. Definitely worth considering these legends. If you're playing in a squad, both Lifeline and Watson can do really well. There are some other good legend choices too, especially for solo players. Wraith, Path, Caustic and Gibby are good legends for Flashpoint because they can use their abilities to escape or slow down enemies so the passive healing starts faster. I guess Bangalore is a good choice too. Everyone spawns with mobile respawn beacons, even after being respawned, so there will be a lot of them. If things get quiet, you can spam them down on the ground to get the attention of nearby players. Another tip here for any crypto mains out there, because everyone's spamming respawn beacons, you can literally just sit anywhere near your player's banner, pick it up, and there's probably going to be a respawn beacon nearby for you to use for your teammates. Also, if you want to set up for late game, you can always place down the beacon strategically for a bit of cover. And who knows, maybe other enemies will use them to respawn their teammates, which could mean more kills for you. People seem to land a little strange in Flashpoint, but you can always count there to be players along the middle and left sides of the map. The most popular locations still get a lot of traffic, and people don't really tend to hot drop as much unless it's over a popular location, so pretty interesting to see the drop patterns in this game mode. Alright, that's it. I hope these tips have been useful. Leave your own tips below. Let me know what you think about these tip videos. I'd love to do more, but only if there's support for it, because I can only get one video out per day. And I do want to get the absolute best content out for you guys. So yeah, thank you for watching. I'll see you all in the comments. Cheerio. Did you know I stream almost every day from 7 p.m. UK time or 11 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. You can catch me live right here on YouTube. So make sure you have notifications turned on. I also have a new members program. Become a member for $2.99 a month. Get your comments highlighted in videos. Get a cool badge in live stream chat. Get access to these cute emotes and also gain access to my members tips videos where you can ask me for any tips and I'll be making new videos weekly to help you improve your own game. Click the join button or click the link in the video description to get involved.